I'm I'm a little what? I'm a little <laughs> embarrassed. Hello. 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 Every rush song. Here's a little trap that sometimes trips up everyone when we tire of our own company. We're not tiring of our own company now because we're going to discuss the Rush song, how it is. And how it's going to be. And 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 how it's going to be. It's such a cloudy day. And... And the fade. Man, I love this song. It's it's like a happy, catchy song. It right? reminds me. Yeah, it reminds me of something like from the 80s, like one of those like uh uh I don't know, not, not not so much maybe REM because they're not super happy. Um Spider-Man you know the happy people. Yeah, well, well actually that would but yeah, actually, kind of the happy poppy actually. You know, with it not being so rocky driving yeah, you doing it, really? the lyrics right there could be the great lyrics for a nineteen eighties family TV sitcom. <laughs> oh play that again, let's see. So the the, the part where, he, where it goes about with the um <laughs> I'm just stalling while I find it. Oh, you know what? That was on the uh, it was on the original, but that's okay. We like it. Oops, <sighs> I have a little volume. Y'all want to hear it? Like we can hear. And that would that would have been a perfect title for a 1980s family sitcom. How it is? How, How it is. is. Yeah. That's right. Huh. You know what? You're not wrong. You're right this time. Yes. Let's Starring mark that. Bill what is Cosby, the date? Alan Alda. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we're talking about he, 1980. Hey, we oh, didn't know that stuff was going oh, on back then. It's true. All it's right. True. I'll see your Bill Cosby and I'll raise you Alan Thick. Ooh, Alan Thick. Oh, Alan yes. Thick would be good. And then the guy from uh, Growing Pains, the father on Growing Pains. What was his name? Oh. That was uh, that was that was Alan Thick. No, that's a uh, family <laughs> ties. No, Alan yes. Thick was yes. Alan Thick was family ties. No, he wasn't. As long Growing... as Candace Cameron's on it, I don't care who else is there. Oh, no, you're right. What right. Is... I got him. Yeah, what, what did you say? What? You are you are right, Jay. How did that taste coming out of your mouth? Uh, lovely. <laughs> it's like it's like cinnamon. Right. Growing pains was the other guy that had yeah. Michael J. Fox. Yeah, yeah I forgot. Was... I for... Yeah. Growing pains was 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 Alan Thick and then um Family Ties was I forgot that guy uh, Michael Gross yes Michael Gross Michael, yeah. nice yes. Jay oh, and, thank and, you and guess what both shows had in common um pretty hot blonde mothers oh, that's true yes uh, yes Meredith Baxter yes Meredith Baxter and then the other chick other Chip. Was it Joanna it was, Kearns? Like yes. Yes. yes, Joanna Kearns. Yes. We don't know why Jack do I know this? <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me any rush questions. Jay is <laughs> bringing that, it tonight. That is the greatness of the Every Rush Song podcast. Not only not sure about can, that. Do you <laughs> get information about the world's favorite Canadian power trio? But you get a little bit of side information of just random stuff. 
Yeah. That's what happens. That's what we do. This is what we do for you. Making your way in the world today takes, takes everything, everything you got. got. Something Taking and something and all, all your, your worries, worries sure would, would help, help a lot. lot. Would, be would be like you like to get it away? Dun, dun, dun. Then tied so you gotta go. go Where is a bad knows me boom, da, da, boom, da. Boom, boom. And it's always No, and they're and always, they're always glad you came <laughs> You Someone, be... Sorry <laughs> Someone on songmeanings.com Said this About how it is I want your thoughts Quote, I'm using air quotes Because I can this is also the darkest work that Neil has produced to date. Well, that mean that makes a lot of sense since it's so upbeat. Yeah, yeah, I, you know, and I guess maybe it depends on your outlook, but maybe to some people that's well this is how it is that's how it's gonna maybe they're like oh well this sucks if that's how it is i i guess i could see that perspective maybe but i don't it's know between I do, I get how that it is song. and how it ought to be yeah you know? yeah uh, i don't get that everybody's got everybody's got their own viewpoint on how it ought to be but the realization mm. is this is how it is yeah you, you can't change is. You <laughs> can't change is. Is is it really what it is? That's, that's what I want to know. That's is a, it? That's a good it, question. It, thank you, thank you. I didn't mean to make your ears bleed, Tim. My, my me, me. <laughs> that's, that's the word that that's just, just, you can no longer. See. We're here. Uh, what it? <laughs> <laughs> we are no longer the knights who say me. No, no, no. We are now the knights who say icky, 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 patang me. Oh, me. <laughs> do we need to do it? We should do a Monty Python. This is the second in a row with a Monty Python references. Every Python sketch. All right, here are my notes on this okay. song. F I think it's a nice. A C E. It's a nice Buddhist like song. It paints mm -hmm. a realistic picture of life. I don't think it's dark or bleak. I think it's well balanced between pleasure and suffering, just like life. The first verse is the trap of when things are going well, and we think that they're always going to go well. And then the second verse is the trap of when things are going poorly, and we think that things are always going to be poorly. And I would suggest that how it ought to be isn't that life should be how we want it to be, but how it ought to be is that we should keep in mind that life is always going to have its ups and downs. When things are going well, just kind of know eventually things aren't going to go as well. And when things are going awful in your life, like mine have been since 2020, then things are eventually going to get better and you'll look back and think, Wow, that was a that was a rough time. I'm glad I'm over it. I don't know where I'm getting this from, okay. but I th I think this sums up what you're talking about very well. Changes are permanent, yeah. but change is. And I don't know where I drew that from. I don't know where that came. from. Maybe I'm no. a genius. Maybe not. You know maybe what I think? You're, maybe you're having a stroke. I mean, it could be one of it could be anything, really. Jay, I think you know what I think it is. He's not concerned with yesterday. He knows constant change is here to stay. So seriously, do do you know where that came from? Because that that's good. That's very uh, <laughs> apropos. Yeah, Tim. Where did that apropos come from? Uh, I believe they. He's were He's not going to play along, is he? I okay. believe they were in an in uh, an Indian tribe. Here in Texas to Oklahoma to New Mexico. That'd be Native American Tim. It was Apache, I think. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, Apache. Yeah. 
Apropos. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, we oh, hope you're enjoying. Oh, I get it. I get it. Hey, now it all comes back. Wait a back. second. Okay. Who are I you didn't... calling a hoe? <laughs> Who are you calling a hoe? <laughs> uh, so the line between how it is and how it ought to be. Yes, Jim. You're in the middle of that. How it is, how it ought to be. You can't change Ooh. how it is. But you can change how it ought to be. No, you can't change. You can't change the past. You can't change the future, but you can change yourself. And maybe the future will be a little bit better. And maybe once a week you change your underwear too. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Hey. From the northeast. But no, Jay, I think I think you're correct because the this song made me think of two things. One, impermanence because. It's going to change. It's going to get better. It's going to get Eventually worse. Eventually, we're all going to have to wear depends. Yes. And, and perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <Get the thing. laughs> Reminds me of another bond. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, the other thing is expectations. And you said, Jay, that you can change how it ought to be. And you can by managing your expectations. That's exactly. Have you ever heard that? Uh, what is it? It's, it's like the formula for happiness where happiness equals reality minus expectations. You ever heard of that? Yeah. Oh, are we going into math again? <laughs> I think, oh, I think, I think, uh, I think Homer said it best when, and Homer said, if at first you don't succeed, never try again. Hey. Hey. Never try. Yeah. What have I learned, Maggie? Never try. Never try. No, yes, yes. I think that you have the ability to uh, keep an attitude. Look, you're not going to be able to keep bad things from happening. They're going to happen. It's just, it's, it's how you handle it. Um, you either handle it or you don't. And But it's, it's going to happen. It's, it's just how it is. <laughs> it's how it's going to be. And it's how it's going to be. And I, I did, I did uh, do some comparisons between the verses, the first verse and the second verse, where the lines are kind of similar but a little different that I think show the balance between positive and negative, dark and bleak, depressing and happy. Good and evil. Perhaps. Space uh, and guitar. Yingling and Coors. Mm -hmm. Snuff. And if you want to hear those, I will. Be happy to share those Beer. with you. Beer. Not snuff. Just no. Just I thought you quit. But my last line to those notes: uh, one of the tenets of Buddhism is that pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional. And I think this song suggests that we be mindful of that. Yeah, I'm with you, Shane. I don't think this is either a sad song or a happy song. It's about balance. It's and. And, and even the the music and the lyrics, you think about the music is upbeat and happy. The lyrics are sometimes depressing, but pretty even. So, you know, it's kind of the music's saying, hey, man. And then the lyrics are saying, <laughs> hey, what's up? <laughs> Do you agree? <laughs> I agree. I, I was sort of getting hypnotized by space guitar appearing and disappearing. It was, if that's what you were doing, that was working. Hey, man. But yeah. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> All right. So the first verse is when today's as far as we can see. Second verse, when we tire of our own company. First verse, things are going well so that you don't really think about the future. A future when life won't be as good. And the second verse, we talk about our own company. To me, that kind of sounds like depression. If you're, I mean, if you're frustrated, you're depressed, you, you don't even like yourself anymore. And then the verse goes on to describe that we can't see that things will eventually get better. Right. You're too caught up in your own depression to, to see that things aren't always going to be so desperate. I like the line. I have one, one um, minor issue with uh, a, a lyric of this of this uh, song. It's it's in vo uh, verse one, 
and verse two. Uh, yeah, it's in verse one and verse two. It's the first line. Here's a little trap. I think it should be, it's a trap. Because <laughs> Star Wars, thoughts? Uh, I appreciate I just, your every, Star Wars reference, Jake. It's a trap. Just, when I see that, this? though, but I, when I saw that line, the first thing I thought of was, uh, like, a, I don't know, uh, Akbar, General Akbar. And it's a trap. It's a trap. Yeah. <laughs> Not to be confused then I with fast Skandar forward Akbar to a crawfish from... boil I went to, and I'm, I remember, my God, I just ate Akbar. <laughs> he was tasty. <laughs> Talk about a trap. Yeah. <sighs> Next line of each verse, faith in bright tomorrows given way to resignation. Sometimes we're the last to see beyond the day's frustrations. Love the way he mixes it up. First verse, faith that everything will always be great, be awesome, will lead to disappointment. Resignation in terms of how to explode. <laughs> in the second verse, you can see past how the bright, you can't see past how the the how bad the present is to realize that things will eventually balance out and the future will be better. Can't see beyond the day's frustration. But then he brings it all back. Brings it home, wraps it up with that's how it is, how it's going to be. So I like then the I wonder. Bridge. <laughs> yeah, tell us about the, what do you like about the bridge? It says foot foot upon the stair, shoulder to the wheel. You can't tell yourself not to care. You can't tell yourself how to feel. That's how it is. That's how it is. Don't bother me, son. You bother me. <laughs> I don't really, I don't, I don't really get the foot on the stair, shoulder to the wheel part. It's like, is it like <laughs> labor versus an ascension or Sh shoulder to the wheel? You're just all clenched up you're and, bearing down, oh, you're going and you're bearing like down. This. So you're so close oh. that your shoulder is almost touching the wheel. Foot on the stair, you're making a move. Oh, right. right. I see. I was picturing. I guess kind of like a what's the guy from mythology? Um, a pirate? Like, like no. a like a I was I was picturing Four. this giant wheel and this guy was trying to push this big wheel. I wasn't thinking about like leaning in, gripping the steering wheel. Yeah, Thanks, man. Tim. Thanks, y'all. Or in this case, the uh, wheel motorcycle. Right. Oh, well, ooh, but they don't use wheels. Well, they steering. have wheels though. Motorcycles. They just but, follow your front wheel, Tim. Oh, I think he's right. using... You didn't read the book. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> I'll read it to you sometime. Yeah, and Jay, in fact, I, I had that as my favorite line. Uh, you can't tell yourself not to care. You can't, you tell, can't yourself tell yourself how to feel. How to feel. Yeah. You can try, I think. You can do meditation or uh, yeah. what's it called when you try to tell yourself those lines where you try to tell yourself something oh self edification app app self self deflament now self uh Apla, ap ap apropos apropos affirmations uh, affirmation yes yeah self, self affirmations yeah you, you can self medication you can try yeah. but I, ultimately i think neil is right you can't really tell yourself not to care it's a it's an emotion yeah it's chemical it bubbles up like this Another cloudy day seems we'll never see the sun or feel the day of has possibilities frozen in the moment, the lack of imagination between how it is <laughs> and how it ought to be. And I like how in the first verse, it's frozen in the moment. And in the second verse, burning in the moment. Yeah. You notice that? First, I didn't notice that. Frozen in the moment, the lack of Im imagination between how it is and how it's ought to be. That's going to be. Second verse, burning in the moment, trapped by the desperation. Interesting. And then it goes back yeah. to, then it goes back to frozen in the moment. What do you suppose then that back can to mean? Frozen. I'm glad you asked, Jay, because that was the last part of my notes. 
See? Very well done. And I didn't even, didn't even share you. them with you. First verse, <laughs> frozen in the moment. Too caught up in the present to be able to imagine that things will not just go. I mean, it's, all, it's the same thing over and over again. Second verse, burning in the moment, suffering because the present isn't going well. So you feel trapped by the trapped by the desperation. You feel so trapped that you don't realize that things will eventually get better. And then my next line to repeat what I said earlier, the Buddhist tenet is that pain is inevitable, but suffering is option. Back to you, Tim, the sports. In hockey today. <laughs> Which was actually two months ago. Yeah. But yeah, I think like we said at the beginning, or I love the chorus. Was it? Good point. Maybe. Hope so. Love the chorus. It's catchy, even though it, it's funny with um on counterparts when it gets to um nobody's hero. And you've got the three just rocking driving songs, and then it gets to nobody's hero with the acoustic part. And I'm always kind of yeah, I want to go back to the rocking stuff. But here, this kind of there's a lot of it heavy, you know, uh focuses on the acoustic guitar, a lot of acoustic guitar on this song. I don't know why. I just love it. Was one of the listening to Vapor Trails the first few times, how it is was the first song to stick out as the one that I really liked. And it's because of that chorus. And even though later in his career, and Getty's voice still sounds terrific. He does in this one, yeah. Even though it's got the high parts. Well, he's yeah. he was sounding good. I mean, he even sounded good on the last album, but he just live. It's just hard to do that, especially if you're now. I don't know if they did the half step thing that a lot of artists do. Uh, I somehow I doubt that. I, maybe that would help. But as high as he had to sing. I don't think there's any getting around that, you know, he, and then he has to think of new ways to, to do it because nobody can sing that high that long. Yeah. Without just, doing some damage. Just ask Rob Halford. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, see in, in, uh, uh, Michael sweet with striker has, he started, they, they started a few years ago. They started taking everything down a half step. And he goes, and it's so much easier to sing it. He goes, and it's, I can save my voice a little bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and absolutely. Yeah. And, and also remember there was five years. Yeah. Between Test for Echo and Vapor Trails and Getty had done a solo album, but my favorite was headache. not doing anything. So, you know, I mean, he might've been singing in the car and. Sure, around the house and stuff like that. So, but not a tour. But I mean, and, and, yeah, hours. not a tour going on. But yeah, but even like somebody like Michael Sweet, he on even their new material, he is doing some very sweet high pitch. Oh yeah, oh you know, scream absolutely. But guess what? You're not hearing it in concert. Yeah, he he, he stays away from ninety percent of them. Well, I read that in his recent, I want to say it was the Dallas show. He he mentioned he was disappointed that he was having some issues hitting some notes. Because Yeah, I mean, he, because I, I was at that show. Yeah. And. But good Lord, you know, man. He, you can't hit right. them all. <laughs> you know, you, you can't hit them all. But even on, you know, the older songs. You know, like to hell with the devil and soldiers. Yeah. You know, you, you would think that maybe, but he didn't do it. Yeah, you know, he he didn't do it. So I I also remember that in the few times I've seen him, um, I mean I've seen him several times, but a few times when I've seen him, at least once, um, Oz Fox would step in on the on the lead yeah. vocal. And he could still, I, I don't know how his vocal is live, if it's still as good as it was, but that guy, he oh, could their, hit some notes. Their vocals were, that oh, they were very good. Yeah, they're, yeah. Yeah. They're, it's like, like Gabriel Jacobs that used to sing for Marze with his new band. He can still hit all those high notes. Exactly. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to Gabriel. Shout out. Shout out. Isn't well, he in a cover that, band? Yeah. Uh, a Journey cover band? Yeah. 
Yeah. But they That's do more than cool. Journey. But they do other stuff. Dio. They do Rush. No. Well, speaking of this, Tim, what do you think of the live version of how it is off of R40? Yeah, you know, uh, it was, struggles a little bit on that. Uh, yeah, you know, it's been a few that's, years. I mean, that's and, okay. And unless they did it at the first part of the Vapor Trails tour, they did not do it when they first came to Dallas. And they came to Dallas twice on that tour. And how it is was not in the set list. So, you know, that was the first time. And in fact, I want to say that he did, this is a song we never did before, but we decided to bring this one out and yeah, they did it. I, I'm okay. That's really cool. But you know, there was a couple of other songs that I wish they would have done off of Vapor Trails mm -hmm. during, yeah. you know, I mean, I would love for them to have brought Earthshine back or do a uh, Sweet Miracle, which they never did live. But it's because those time. two songs are in my top five. Yeah. Well, that's how it ought to be, but <laughs> how but, it is. But yeah, Tim, because, stop torturing yourself. Because, because that's how it was, I was fine with it. Huh? But I'm also thinking uh -huh. of how it ought to be. How oh. it could have been. Oh. Right. Word. What is and what will never be. Right. Well, I like on that live recording, the in the bass in the intro, and I just happen to have that queued up for your ears to listen no. to. No, no way. I do. Yes. Wow. This is the live version. After the intro, when they say we dug this one up from rehearsal, I hadn't played it in a while. And I love this bass line over the guitar. Will it play? I love that. Do do do. Yeah. do, do, and, do, do, do and and. Do, do, do. And what did Neil give us a little bit of right there? Tell us, Tim. Tell us. La Vila. Really? Really. Play it dun, again. Oh, dun, that bump, dun. bump, bump. You're right. Yep. You're right. Mm -hmm. He's I'm getting right. back there. It takes <laughs> yeah. a long time to drag that little ball back to the 22nd mark. Also pretty, you know, I've, I've listened to this over and over and over again, past several days. That's trying to find those other parts of the song to point out. But I mean, it's kind of, um, I don't want to say basic, but there's not really any recording tricks or super cool licks that that jumped out at me it's a, beast, a great little song. song yeah yeah i mean this yeah, is it's... a song that it'd be hard to sing but yeah we could pick up a guitar and you know and do a nice acoustic version if there's yeah. something if 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 there's a if there's a anything known to of a rush song that could be known as mellow I would say this would be it. This is pretty mellow. You know, this would be mellow, but happy. Just it's very poppy. I could hear it on the radio. You know. Yeah, I could. I could imagine the Durango brothers bringing along their little cousin Filbert, mm -hmm. who was playing congas. Oh yeah, and we that. could have done Christ. a little. You know, or. That wonderful, can. that wonderful night up in um, Denton, uh, Broken Broken Bow, Oklahoma. Oh, oh yes, that would have been night, a great time. The to play night it. on the porch. Yes, yes, that would have been great. Yes, that, that would have been, been awesome. Oh, we'll work it up for next time. There we go. <laughs> we will. <laughs>
Oh, cool. Yeah. And Jay, uh, my favorite lyrics were, I guess, the same as yours, the frozen in the moment and then the burning in the moment, trapped by desperation. There we go. We have that in common. Well, there it is. How it is. Let us know what you think about how it is. 2112 at everyrushsong.com is the email address and on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook at every rush song Tim, take us home thank you very kindly broken bow oklahoma we love you good night which of course rush never said we love you i don't know why i keep throwing that in they didn't well you know i think it was oh. implied i think it was implied but he yeah. never said we love you yeah. it's implied tim yeah. tim more explicitly loves you yes. as do jay right and yes. as do I yes, but not not too explicit. Just yeah, yes, just, just the yes. for a friend explicit type. Oh, I, as yeah. a friend, I want to know yeah. how come you two keep getting the cute little funny sayings or whatever for your names, but for this episode and the <laughs> last one, it's just T McComas. Well, you know you can change your own name. I don't know how to do that. <laughs>